we're going to be creating this fourth light as well as creating the area that goes behind this light and the small little area that's in front of this light you can take a better look at this by looking at this picture you have this red area that kind of curls around the back of these lights and this lights less visible so I believe this red area just goes in front of that light which is why it's not as easy to see this light and this light you can see this kind of pattern that we have this horizontal pattern or at least it's more horizontal than this was so we're going to try to make this light similar to that so we're going to go back to our blender file right click on the bus and press H to hide that right click to select this tab into edit mode select one of these outer edges then do control L shift D to duplicate right click to cancel and bring it up now what we want to do is start filling in this area so we're going to go to vertex select I'm going to press period on the number pad to focus in on this we want to select these top three vertices and then press F because doing that is going to create a relatively straight line across here and then if we select these two vertices and press F again you'll notice we get another straight line pretty much across here and just continue pressing F until all this area is filled in now what we want to do is go to face select and we want to start selecting all of these faces you can hold control and right click if that makes it easier once you have all this selected you're going to do shift D to duplicate right click to cancel shift S to hide everything else and we're going to start making that ribbing pattern like we've done before but it's going to be better if we have more edge loops here because there's quite a few loops going across this area it's pretty dense in comparison to what this was so we're going to do control R left click right click and just repeat that all the way down here so we have more edges to work with and then we're just going to do select edge rings and now we just want to press Z for wireframe C for circle select and deselect the top and deselect this small one on the bottom once that's done we're going to do control B mouse wheel up once then left click do control minus and then alt H and bring these out some I'm actually bringing mine in the wrong direction so I'm going to undo that and then do it again so now we're getting that pattern similar to what we want so now what you want to do is go back to vertex select and you want to adjust some of these that actually don't look correct like these two look like they're a bit too high up so we want to bring these down and you also can bring this one down as well and do the same in this area just adjust some of these vertices that don't look correct maybe bring some of these up a bit once you're done with your adjustments you just want to bring it you want to select all of it by pressing A twice bring it forward a little and then bring it over a little on the x-axis and that'll just make sure it's not touching the rest of the geometry you should have something that looks kinda of like this one of the other things you can do is go to these where it's kinda of like it has a shape like this select these three and press F and you can actually just select this one and then press F so select a point and then press F and you'll fill in the areas on the ends and do the same on the back side here selecting this point and pressing F and then we should have our nice little light right here now we're going to do Alt and H to unhide the bus 
and we're going to tab into edit mode and press Z for wireframe, Alt H to unhide everything, Control 1 to go to back view. And I think actually these are a bit too big. So what we're going to do is A twice. This should be on individual origins. And then you can just do S to scale them down slightly. And then bring them up slightly. And if you want to, you can move these individually. Just as we've done before. Just select a vertex, B to box select, get the whole light and bring it up slightly. Just make sure you don't select any extra vertices when you're doing that. Then tab back to object mode, select the bus, H to hide it. Select this, press tab. Another thing that we've done is created a little bit of space between this when we scaled it. So we're going to switch back to median point. We're going to select one of these points, do control L, grab it on the Y axis, hold control and snap it to this point, and then do the same for the rest of these. Just select a point, control L, grab it on the Y axis, hold control, snap it there. Another thing you'll notice is the ribbing is kind of in the wrong spot now. So if you do Z to go to wireframe and select one point on each of these and do control L and then just bring it back into position on the X axis then that will be nicely in position again and I'm not sure if we have to do the same on this one it looks like everything's pretty much fine on this top one so that's it for these lights now we can do alt H in object mode to bring back this piece and we can tab into edit mode, do control 1 for back view, switch to face select, Z for wireframe and we'll take a quick look at our reference. So this red part has the flat face right here and then it starts to curve in and around so we want this whole area right here between where this pieces and all the way down to here. So we can do Z to get out of wireframe actually and we want to select the faces that are right here so select one hold shift and select these so we have this area which corresponds to this red area right here and we can do shift D to duplicate right click to cancel and bring it back slightly we can do shift H to hide everything else go to vertex select select these two and bring it in slightly and we can select these two and bring them back and we can also select these two and bring them back slightly because the way we want this to go is more like this so we're gonna bring this over we want it to be more over like this and then rounded in the back I'm actually gonna bring these two back some more and maybe bring this back some more as well then we can do control B, mouse wheel up twice. This will give us that rounded shape to the back of it. So now we have something like this. Another thing you'll notice is that it actually comes out to the end and has sort of a flatter area on the bottom. So what we can do is select these two and all of these actually and then press F but it's a little bit too high up so we can actually bring this down a little or alternatively we can actually bring these down a little so just select one hold control and select this other one bring it down slightly and we'll have that flatter area there I'm gonna try bringing these back a little because it looked like they may have been sticking through right here and maybe bring these two in slightly to try to get rid of the minor problems we're having there but that looks fine 
to turn this into quads in the bottom we can use knife cut so just press K left click then left click over here press enter press K again left click and then left click over here press enter and now we have all quads on this bottom section and we're going to press alt H to unhide everything now we want to make that top part so we're just going to go to face select select these faces that are on the top part and like I said this top part looks like it's in front of the light whereas the bottom part looks like it's behind the light so this part needs to be in front of the light so we're going to take this part do shift D to duplicate right click to cancel just bring it back slightly and you can do shift H and then go to vertex select select these and bring it in slightly and maybe do that for this one as well that looks like it looks fine so if we do alt H to unhide everything and just take a look at it we can actually do alt right click alt and shift right click H to hide hover your mouse over this press L then H to hide and we can take a better look at what it looks like over here so I'm just going to select the vertex press period and the number pad to focus in and we can take a look at our nice little area that goes behind it as well as our new light and the area that's in front of it you can do Z for wireframe take a better look at this and this is what we have for our light situation right now it's looking pretty good so we're just gonna go to file and save